So uh, you're watching this on Mike Blue Hair's uh, Film the Police Portland on uh, YouTube and Steam It. Hey man, this is bittersweet for me, man. Like I've asked you a year ago to do this interview, and you're you, you were worried about what the courts would have to say. And, and you know, first of all, I have to say from the heart, I'm an anarchist. You're a constitutionalist. Thank you so much for standing up for my liberty because I understand the intrinsic value in what you guys were doing. And and you know. People putting their bodies on the line and their, their, their reputations and everything so, so that I could enjoy the liberties that I have in this country. And for a heartfelt for me to you, thank you, Dwayne. I mean, you said that you were nobody earlier. No, you will always be remembered in my mind as someone who stood up for my liberty. And, and thanks again, man. You know, the first thing I have to say to you is just thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You've been, it could have been you at the refuge uh, indicted because anybody... Uh, whether you're a journalist or not is open to being incarcerated without any reason whatsoever. Uh, look at Peace and Telling. Yeah, a, a cons conspiracy to hold a camera, you know, yeah, I mean, a live stream video. Or dressing <laughs> scary. Right, right, yeah. right. Militant clothes while, while holding a camera is ridiculous. Um, but uh, as you all know, my focus is police accountability, and I asked you a lot of questions yeah. um, when I first wanted to interview you, and I'd like to go back to those. Can you tell me how you were treated when, they were, when you were taken into custody? Um, were you threatened? Were you coerced? Did they treat you okay? They treat you with dignity? All these things. I want to know. Okay, at first, um, they said uh, from a loudspeaker, stick your hands out the window. Now, if I didn't stick my hands out the window, coming to that traffic stop, they would have shot me dead. Uh, there was like 30 ARs pointed at me. There was a attack uh, air uh, squad in a helicopter hovering above me. Uh, they stripped me naked at gunpoint and um, they had to search me in the snow. On your knees or were you just standing? No, I had to walk backward Okay. Them, like this. Oh wow. Had to spin around just like I was in Bosnia. And, and this uh, military checkpoint shouldn't be used against civilians in this country. And it was a military checkpoint. And uh, this is not martial law. This is Oregon State, mm -hmm. and it should never have happened. Now, originally they were trying to get you on some sort of a gun charge or something like that. Is that true? I, I carried an 1860 <coughs> cap and ball revolver on the refuge. <laughs> you mean like the the that looks like the gun the old pirates use in the pirate movies, right? The uh, black powder thing? Uh, Civil War pistol. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. And they tried to charge you with a gun crime with for that? Brass receiver, that octagon barrel, the whole nine yards. <laughs> it's what I've always carried on my hip. Wow. Uh, it's a 45 1860 Army pistol. And that really didn't fly in court? Um, they tried everything to get me on a weapons charge, uh, but the, the requirements for the firearm. Uh, the 1860 pistol doesn't meet the requirements. Right on. So, if you had anything you could say to the officers, uh, especially the ones that uh, dealt with uh, Finnicum fatally, and the ones that took you into custody, and the 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 the, the level of militant response to Mal here, what would you say to those guys? You know, and I'm not trying to get you to bag on law law enforcement. I just want you to d d tell me your honest, no BS opinion. We, we have some awful good officers in Oregon State. We, we really do. And there's some bad ones too. And the bad ones need to be held accountable. Um, I wish we could go back in time and not have my friend shot in the back, you know, with his hands up, uh, trying to save the people's life in the car, that truck they were shooting at. You know, there, there's no reason he was even shot. And then there was an ambulance right up above him, and they never utilized it to save his life. They just let him bleed out onto the ground. And something should have been done. I don't feel it was the Oregon State Police. Uh, the Oregon State Police was deliberately misled by the FBI. Um, and that I do know for a fact. 
I have a lot of friends with the Oregon State Police. I've been on the search and rescue team in Moore County for 20 years. Uh, and, and some of my best friends, Oregon State Police, you know, and sheriffs. Right on. So if you had anything to say to my uh, anarchist audience, you know, the ones that might not understand what people were doing out there at M Mal here, because, you know, I am an anarchist and a lot of people right. on, on Team Anarchy watch my stuff. But uh, what, what would you say to them? Well, the, the, the people that are trying to characterize you guys as terrorists, for instance, yeah, you know, well, like... I was expecting a terrorism. Um, the radio said that the terrorists had taken over the refuge. That's how I got involved. I jumped in my truck, I, I went down, and I said, holy crap, that's only an hour or two away, and I, I'll be the first one there to, to stop... You know, I spent time in Iraq. I, I don't want any terrorists in my neighborhood. And I was thinking more... So you were a soldier in Iraq then? Yeah, I was so... I was okay, thinking. okay. I, and and uh, so I was thinking, okay, I'll jump in, go down there, uh, stop the terrorists from doing whatever they were doing, and go home. That's what I was thinking. Uh, I was not ready for what I encountered. I rolled down my window and Ryan Bundy come out of the hooch in a cowboy hat. I thought I was lost. And <laughs> Ryan Bundy says, uh, I said to Ryan Bundy, I said, uh, where's all the terrorists at? Because, you know, it's out in the middle of nowhere. I've never been there before. And they said, terrorists? Uh, just shook his head and says, I don't know about any terrorists, but I'm about to go eat dinner and you're welcome to eat with us and we pray before we eat if that doesn't offend you. I said, well, what's going on here? Because <laughs> that's not the story Oregon Public Broadcasting put out saying terrorists that took over the refuge. And see, that's how I got involved with everything. Yes, and sir. then when the sun came up the next morning, I met the entire Hammonds family. I, and, and I found their story firsthand. <laughs> Ransom. And uh, that's so a I, cranky horse. Sorry. That's ransom, not hell. Ransom. <laughs> so, um, if there's anything I could do for the Hammonds family, I'll do it. And this is my one last opportunity before I go to prison to help. Well, I mean, that, that's just a testament to the character and the human being that you are, that you're spending your last, you know, 30 days, you know, serving other people when you're going to have your freedom taken away from you. It's, 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 I had it's, my freedom taken away from me for 10 years serving this country. You know, it's just like a short deployment somewhere to me. You know, whether I spent two years on the DMZ in Korea, you know, and... Highly limited regulations. There you and go. Rules so, do you think? What do you think should happen in regards to an investigation about what happened with Finnegan? What What would be, you, you know, in, in the the best case scenario that for HRT you? That HRT team that lied on the stand, they all should be in prison. The the HRT team that trim tree branches and set up tree stands to shoot my friend in the back in an L-shaped ambush should be held accountable. Now that's a and prepared elevated about? firing position in an ambush around a, 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 blind, a, turn? a blind turn, right? Who are you like, referring to? Your friend? HRT uh, team, my, my just friend. so the people that are watching uh, understand what that is. Boy, push yeah, of course. That's who I'm referring like Fennec to. Yeah, but, uh, but what is a HRT team? Like, what is, I mean, so the people at home will know what it is. It's like okay. a SWAT team or whatever, or they're what are like they? They're like a SWAT team, but their job is to hostage, negotiate, rescue people where they just kill everybody in their path. Okay. So they don't host, they don't negotiate. Well, th well, thank you for uh, the the very telling and uh, frank interview. You know, uh, I have a really good friend, Oregon State Police. Mm -hmm. He was a state police uh, senior bomb expert for like 30 years. Uh, he was in tears, just like I was over Le Boy Finnegan. Which yeah. press do we have here today with us? Thank yeah. you, brother.